Hey there people, this is Michael from Michael Tech Room channel. So uh, today people, we are going to do a uh, overview of um, uh, Dell Enspawn dot 53 OS. Uh, this particular model is a slimline. So uh, let's uh, get a closer look at so, uh, let's do it right now. So, right now we got a camera close. Uh, so before we, uh, uh, do some, before we, uh, talk about the ports in and out, uh, let's talk about the aspect of this. So, what you can see is a sticker. Uh, this there does have a dual core PDM, so the PDM. Uh, you can see here it's still running the Windows XP, uh, but I hope in the future that it's not going to run Windows XP. Uh, if somebody like to support me on that. So anyway, it got dual core. It got it still running a uh, Western Digital hard drive. I'm not quite sure the size yet. I have to look inside. So. Uh, let's take a look. Let's give a closer look. Alright, so let's talk about um, the Apple Core Drive and the Card Reader. So what we got is a uh, CD. Um, it does read DVD, but it doesn't write DVD. It only uh, writes CD. Uh, for one, this camera uh, originally doesn't have... Uh, they came with SD card, so... Um, uh, for warning, if you're looking, um, be warned, this particular model does, they had a uh, SD card pre-installed, so, I have installed a SD card, so, uh, so it's, some of these models will come with a uh, SD card reader, uh, depending if the person has special order or not, so, uh, that's, uh, that'd be it. So let's take a look at the front I.O. So now we're looking at the front I.O. So what you got is your power button. Uh, two USB 2.0. This Dale Camille only have USB 2.0. So you got two of those and you got your headphone out for your headphones. Uh, if you need to have, um, if you need a little more to hear uh, sound a little more bell. Uh, then you got a microphone, which the microphone will work with um, uh, Skype and audio uh, voiceover, mini application for that audio input. So, that'll be it for the front I.O. So let's look at the back I.O. port. Alright everybody, let's take a look at the real I.O. So let's go over the real I.O. ladies and gentlemen, or people. So, our first, uh, out the, our video output gave me a VJ output. Uh, this command only have one output, so you can't, uh, do multi on the onboard, uh, onboard video, so you're only limited to one. So you got your VJ output. You got your four USB 2.0. Uh, for warning, these are not USB 3.0. These are 2.0. Then we got our Ethernet to do our internet stuff. Uh, then our audio, we got a 7.1 audio channel. So you can do multi-channel output with this audio. Um, so you got your line in. So your line in, it's going to be used for uh, your CD player or any audio device you can connect to, and you can have the audio pass through, uh, to pass through if you have speaker. So, you can have like a CD player on your desk. Uh, if you want to play a CD, the CD player with uh, the audio is going to go in here, then it's going to come out from the green one. So, it's going to it's a pass through. Um, uh, uh, so, it's going to be a pass-through 
If you want to set that, uh, set that up, make sure you go in your audio control panel. Make sure that audio in is not muted. Um, that is a normal default thing, so uh, make sure you enable that. So anyway, so we got audio in, we got our audio out, and another microphone if you're a type person who have a microphone on the desk. Uh, audio, the front microphone, it gave you leisure for um, like headsets or that. So, you got that. Uh, these are the extra 7.1 channel. You can set so this one I believe is the subwoofer. Uh, one of these will okay, be front and back. So uh, uh, you got those. So <sighs> so you got those. So that be it. So let's uh, go down even more. Okay, so we are at bottom. So what we got is four slots to do graphical, uh, any audio card, or wireless card, or any card. So, you got seven of those, um, you want to use a slimline, uh, add-on card. So you got that, you got your power supply at the bottom. Unfortunately, this power supply, uh, don't have a switch to turn off, uh, but you got this, uh, to switch your voltage. So you got that, and let's, next, let's go inside now. So let's do it right now. So let's open the lid right now. So when you open the lid, usually you have a uh, two screw for the bottom and top. So usually you have that. So let's open it right now. So we just slide it. Okay, so we got our cover. Uh, we got our crossbar to, uh, if you can lay this coming up flat, this crossbar will support a uh, monitor. So, uh, let's take that off right now. So what we're going to do is lift up this latch. Let's swing up. So we got that now. Right, so Let's give it a closer look. So let's do it right now. Okay, everybody, so right now we are looking at the inside, so before I, uh, uh, before I go to the inside, I want to tell you what original and what not original, uh, and what piece you may get. So, what we got right here is a, a, um, diode cord. So we got a diode cord. Well, you put your phone line in and you get your um, internet uh, to check your email. But this is a original one out of the deal. Uh, currently, it's not installed because um, right now it's not in use. Um, because half time it's kind of like, why do I need this installed on the Camille if we're not using it? Um, it's okay to pour these. Um, Diop called out today on Camille because whoever uses a diop line for internet. So uh, these things you can take them out and put them in the safe place. Or if you're very paranoid, you can throw them away. So that is a original port. Uh, let's talk about other original port. Um, the red one, the red SATA cable. That's not original, you, there was a blue SATA cable, uh, connect to the, uh, the Western Digital Hard Drive, so that's not original, so, um, uh, that's not original, that one got replaced with a shorter one, uh, just because I don't need extra clutter mess, and so I did decide, oops, excuse me, so I decide to do that. So I don't have cable mess. So let's give a closer look, shall we? All right, everybody. So what we are looking at is the inside of the Camille, or I should say, the closer look. Uh, so we got a closer look. So let's start off uh, with the hard drive. 
So let's get a little closer look. So what I'm going to do is uh, move the pie cone out of the way. Uh, so you can see. The let's shove the up here. There we go. And let's zoom in. Lock the handle. There we go. So what we got way here. Oh my. Um, so we got okay. Not weed. Uh, but I'm not quite sure what the heck the storage is. Uh, oh wait a second. Two fifty gig uh, Western Digital hard drive. So we got two fifty gig. OneDrive, uh, that's what we got. This one is the other one. Um, this one been manufactured. Let's see if I can find the date. Uh, date. Um, 119th November 2007. So, 2007, it's not that bad. Um, it's still running. Still running the um, SATA cable right here, so it's running that. Um, nice thing is we got SATA cable um, from the power supply, so this is a good Western Digital. Um, I believe this one is a slow model, in my experience, uh, with this. Um, so I'm not quite sure um, what the slow slowness of this. So uh, let's zoom out. Let's look at other stuff. Uh, we got a see here uh, mono. This is a uh, best tech uh, power supply. Um, the total max uh, power is two hundred fifty watts. So uh, that's the maximum output. Uh, got 112, you know, 5 volt and plus 3.3 3 volt, 100 volt max. Uh, see a model. This is a revision uh, time 3. So let's give you a closer look at uh, to satisfaction. And you can pause the T. So let's set the tripod back. And we got the power supply. Uh, let's see here. Let's talk about um, the slot. So, slot. Uh, you got one slot. For a video card and as all card too, uh, you got another. Let me move this twenty-four. Uh, twenty-four pin. Okay, so that's a little more better now. Uh, I said before, like this slot is for a uh, video card. Uh, I believe this slot is a 2.0 slot. Uh, you got another slot for um, sound cord and Wi-Fi cord. Uh, these two right here is um, uh, the old legacy slot. So you got two of these. Um, those are the two slot on the motherboard. So let's look at the mirrors. Uh, You got your uh, Intel PDM dual core processor. Uh, this motherboard uh, does support dual channel, so um, let's pause for a moment so you so, can. So we got that out of the way. So right now you got 
Um, this is a uh, dual channel motherboard. So right now we got two RAM and we got two empty slots. So let's give the RAM a closer look. All Shall right, we? everybody. So I got a RAM out, one of them. And you can see on the label, these are Samsung. And we got 512 megabytes of RAM. Um, so that is it. Now, now we're talking about how cheap these stupid things are. Um, these RAM, they are $5, and these, uh, my experience with these RAM are, these are the worst RAM. Those are the worst performance. Uh, let's compare the chip size. You can see the one over here have a little more bigger, um, bigger memory chip. Uh, the mem the bigger memory chip, um, in my experience, is they do perform great. Even the Apple market one. Um, these smaller chips that I generally don't like. Um, Currently, this need have more RAM upgrade uh, to run uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8. So we, uh, so if somebody like to support me on uh, more RAM, please support me. Uh, please, please, please. Uh, feel free to share the video too. So uh, feel free. Um, feel free. So uh, we're gonna talk about this at the end, but I am letting you know that. Please, please, please feel free to support. So uh, we got we got a, um, a five hundred meg RAM from Samsung. So uh, let's take a look at. All right, everybody. Let's talk about the um, channel slot. Um, as you can see, this is a different channel slot. It's not a uh, standard one, but I can show you. Uh, with these RAM that they don't fit. So, I'm going to show you that. So if I uh, unlock one of them. Careful you don't stab your motherboard. But if we install it right here. Uh, you can tell you don't feel something right. And what I mean they don't fit right is this. So, uh, I'm gonna give you a close look, real quick. Alright, everybody, so let's show you what I mean when you can't fit a normal size um, slot RAM. So, if we fit now. Actually, let's remove one of the RAMs so you can see people. So we got a light right here finally. Uh, so what you can see right here is the notch don't match. Uh, they don't match. Um, this, uh, this, um, you can see how the notch don't match. It's, it's sliding nicely, um, but, uh, Sammy, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you can see how they. <laughs> you can see how the notch don't match. So if we compare when we here, uh, you can see how the notch uh, don't match. So uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Oop, be careful! You don't uh, bruise it. Be careful. You can see how uh, it. You can see how um, that it, the groove don't match. 
So uh, let's let go around to other boxes. All right, so. on the motherboard. So let's take a look at the SATA board. So right now, you got four SATA ports. Uh, you got one SATA port uh, for boot drive. Um, this blue one will give you uh, the best performance uh, for speed. So boot drive to go here. So you um, you got two uh, black one for storage. Then you got uh, one white one, one white SATA. So you got one white, two black, and one blue. And the blue is usually for boot drive. So, uh, so that's what you got. And let's explore more of it. All right, everybody. So let's go over. Uh, let's go over the port. So you got your uh, power switch to turn on and reset. So you got that. Uh, you got USB, um, uh, you got three USB headers, so you can throw uh, plenty of those. So let's scroll down halfway down for you guys. So you can see right here, uh, we got one way, oop. So we got one way here, you got a blue USB, I believe that's for high speed. Uh, then you got USB, another one, right here. Uh, this one, it's going to the cold reader, so... Alright everybody, so I am back now, after I have to uh, import the video, so that does the card got filled. But, anyway, we're talking about this one is going to the SD card, this one is to the front panel. Um, well, I mean to the front panel at the front of the camera, so you got two USB 2.0. So you got that. So let's look at audio header real quick. So right here you got your audio, uh, um, audio header uh, for your headphone that go to the front panel. So it does. So you got that. So let's talk about fan header on the motherboard. So if we uh, move away here and if we focus the camera. Like this. Uh, this one is a sweep pan uh, fan handle. It goes to the top. Uh, there is a fan right way here um, across it from the top. Uh, the CPU fan is a four pin fan. Uh, so it's a four pin one. And see what else I should point out. I believe that'd be it inside. Oh, did I show you the power connector? Okay, let's go with the power connector. So right here is your 24 pin. That'd be your normal connector for your motherboard. Uh, you got your four pin, uh, your four pin CPU header. So let's give that a closer look. So this is a four pin. Uh, go to the CPU. Uh, we got a SATA power and a floppy. And I believe I didn't show you the floppy. Um, so let's focus back on the other one. Um, so right under here, I know, uh, I know this CD-ROM is a uh, floppy connector. Um, which I have no idea why they add a floppy connector, but uh, for warning, this can have been made in... Uh, let me show you thing real quick. Um, let's see the tripod. Uh, you can see right here it's been made 2007 11 uh, slash 08. So it's been made in that date. Uh, I'm not quite sure if that date time where they were still using uh, the floppy connector and the modem card. Um, so not quite sure in 2000 they had option to not use these things. Uh, but uh, like I said in the beginning, this, uh, this one is non-use. So I don't need it. I'm not using 
a uh, phone line to do my internet. Um, that if I was using that, that'd be slow. Uh, so let's talk about um the Maladin. Um, so is the Maladin? Can you replace this motherboard with another one? Um, I would say maybe not. Um, uh, just because they didn't use um a normal. Uh, breakout shield, so you probably have to do some, a little bit of metal work. Um, look like, um, someone my spit. Uh, look like the mount, uh, the funny thing is, it look like it's almost, you can fit ATX. You almost can. It. You almost can. It. Um. They did put normal um. Row mount. They put a normal row mount uh, mount. Uh, on the motherboard. They did put a normal one, um, but sadly, then row, which the nice. Um, the front. Uh, four in this area are mounted. Uh, as a stand on mount, so the front one on, but sadly, uh, I think the back, uh, if you can see in the corner, uh, I believe this, I believe this way or this way, I believe it's not in the corner, so you might have to do some metal work just to get the case. Uh, to ATX uh, uh, friendly uh, mount. Uh, so that is the one. Uh, so what else I should go? Um, you got your normal quick mount. Um, usually you have to take the front fascia off, uh, off the case to um, uh, to remove that upper guard drive. Uh, the other thing you get with that too. Which they are nice enough, uh, but half time it's not nice. Is you got a quick mount, um, a hard drive mount, so you got that. So let me plug in that open CP real quick. So let's plug that in. I gotta plug the SATA in. So they give you a nice uh, connector to do this stuff. Um, this Camille, I had, we had somebody check this Camille out for uh, Windows 7. Uh, this Camille can win Windows 7. Uh, I believe so. So, I can show you the quick mount, so, uh, I'm in play, right? Uh, excuse the big hand in the way. Oop. Damn tripod. So, I can show you that. Um. You slide it up, and you can, but you can see how it's a quick mount, and you have to get screws to quick mount screw. Uh, you have to get that. So, you got that. Um, uh, it's a nice case. I I did enjoy this case. I wish they didn't put the um the. Uh, they are proprietary uh, screw mount. I wish they haven't done that. Uh, but other than that is you got uh, expansion room. So you got uh, two more RAM slots, uh, which is a really odd way because this Camille um, is a dopium core processor, which is odd for me. So uh, you got plenty of expansion room. You can add a graphical one. Uh, other stuff, um, uh, yesterday I have updated the BIOS, uh, before I updated the BIOS, it was 1.08 version BIOS, uh, so right now, uh, so I did, so that was the original BIOS, um, I, I updated the BIOS, uh, surprisingly, uh, surprisingly, uh, updating the BIOS was very easy to update. Um, you did have to go, um, you did have to go, um, 
um, shut down and reinstall and go to the BIOS and have to tell the Camille, hey, this is the BIOS, you know. So you do have to tell that. Um, they, uh, Dell does set up a, uh, this to remind you, this motherboard been made by Foxconn. So, um, so the company made the BIOS update program. It's a executable file. So, um, like I said before, I thought, uh, you had to go in the BIOS and, but, uh, you can update the BIOS from your window, um, without shutting down and, uh, but you still have to reboot, but other than, uh, other than that, it was simple to update, um, so that was simple to do, uh, and only the pros to it is, I said, uh, you, they're not using a standard, um, a standard slot, uh, which, that sucks, I, they got newer stuff, okay, um, they got newer stuff, uh, you can see they got SATA, uh, you got, you got a PCI slot, you can throw video card, you can throw wireless, uh, you got, expansion room. Uh, I, I would say you got expansion room on this camera and they give you two more extra USB headers so you can uh, connect more USB header to this camera so that is nice but the only thing uh, sucks is a damn RAM. Um, I said before I don't know why they'll decide to go with this RAM slot. Uh, it's feel like a stupid way to install non-standard RAM slot. So, that only negativity, but other than that, this Camille is born on great. Uh, this, the unusual thing is, they gave you four SATA ports. Um, you only can fit two regular hard drive in the sled, uh, being at a slimline Camille, so you only get two, uh, but it's amazing to let you know it's, uh, it's more than what, um, but you can tell this particular model, they have installed two more, but it looked like there was another model with two more, so I'm not quite sure if that is the four line or the four size tower case, not the slim line, so. Uh, so, that's great, so, the nice thing is, you can fit uh, a SSD, um, the great thing is, you can fill for the SSD, uh, somewhere, um, you can zip tie it somewhere, so it does get in the way, and you can still fit two hard drive, uh, I believe you can fill, like, a storage hard drive, two hard drives, so, um, I believe you can do that, too, so, uh, that is incredible. The power supply, it's not a odd kind. You can just go on Newegg or eBay or any other parts store to upgrade this. Um, I believe you can update, upgrade the uh, power supply to 80 baht, so you can do that. So, uh, not bad, Camille. Um, the only thing is stupid, like I said before is the RAM. So that the only thing I believe is the only negativity I have with this command. So, but everything is fine. Like I said before, it's, uh, surprisingly, uh, this motherboard, uh, it's, the cap haven't, uh, haven't exploded on me yet. Uh, surprisingly, they haven't exo exposed on me just yet, but I'm pretty sure in the near So, the camera would root, but uh, I said before, there were many models, and uh, let's get back to the point. They were a model with the option of Vista, Winner Vista. So, I believe they offered a 64-bit Vista window. Um, they, the nice thing was they were not limited to Winner XP. These are not limited. They were offered with a Vista operating system. 
Uh, I believe so. Um, if you currently have this Cameo, if you're running Winner XP or uh, Vista, you should be able to upgrade to Winner 7. Um, but before you do that, make sure you have plenty of RAM. Um, uh, don't forget, don't use the standard uh, because some reason they don't. Uh, I'm not sure if other mods are using the standard, but this particular mod I have does use a odd size one. Not standard one, so that, that is it. So, let's point the camera back onto me. Alright everybody, before I end the video, I want to say thanks for watching my video. Uh, this means a lot to me, so thank you for watching. Uh, so, uh, before I end the video, it's be I'm going to say thanks for watching. And the other thing too is, feel, feel free to share this video with any uh, friends or family or uh, any fancy YouTuber or too, so feel free to share this video. Um, anytime someone share this video, uh, anytime we get support or to support my channel, or we get half of people uh, support my channel, uh, this channel will, will be going uh, smoothly, I, I should say. Or well, another word to say is be a little more fun on. So, uh, so uh, the another news too is um, uh, you seen their house? They were still running the next week on April eighteenth. When the XP is going to be ending the uh, support date. Uh, so once support date then. Uh, I guarantee you, you won't have no update to, uh, update your window. Um, anytime there is no update for your window, uh, sometime you might get hacked. In an easily way. Uh, of course, it depends on how long that you don't have update to, you know? Uh, because, uh, depending on if you type was and who go to a uh, random website, you might get tack. Uh, if you're a type of person who did, don't do a lot of, like business, like play card, this is another example. Uh, so anytime you do credit card uh, over the internet, uh, on, on a Windows XP machine, um, you might uh, people might pick up your, uh, your card. So, uh, it can cause some problem if you keep using it. Uh, now if you check your email, do some light Craigslist uh, listing, you might do fine for a while. So, it depends on your mail. Your mailage depends. So, that would be the news. And the other thing too is it's okay, you're okay to, it's okay to donate something to my channel. Um if you wanna donate something, uh just make sure you let me know and I can give you something that you can ship. So uh I can do that too, so I can accept donation, uh not extreme donation, don't go too extreme with this, uh, but I don't mind do a light, uh, if someone do a light donation to me, so I'm okay with that. Um, you're welcome, um, feel, 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 uh, feel free to support any project, uh, currently I have one project, uh, and I got another one. Uh, project too, so um, uh, you can support many Amazon project too, or you can donate uh, Camille Port too. So uh, if you like to donate a little bit of RAM, that's okay. If you want to donate a video card that may be in my collection, or if it's 
a uh well I can use it. It does depend on the age. Um the really old old video card with the old slot they may be a collect item for me. But uh, if they got a little bit new or not so so new, but if they got a little bit new or uh, slot that might be used for something. Um, or uh, I could build a old Camille if uh, if somebody want to donate the motherboard and or any of those things. So if I get from a couple people, hey, I might build a Camille. So you are welcome to do uh, donate. Uh, please keep in mind, keep it light too. So. I'm okay with it. Let's keep it light. Uh, so, um, if you need, if you like to donate something, so in the near future I may set up a Facebook and Twitter, uh, but not at this time. But in the future time, I may. So if you need to contact me, uh, that feel free to contact me on uh, Google Plus, Texan uh, Syndicate. And Linus Tech Form 2 and my Flickr page too. So uh, you can t uh, contact me through those uh, social network. Uh, but keep in mind, in the future, I may have Facebook and Twitter uh, for my YouTube channel. So we got that. So, um, like I said before, thank you. Thank you for watching my video please please feel free to support uh, all kind of stuff um, you can help out uh, my uh, uh, my protection equipment too so you can help out with the protection equipment or protection uh, uh, protection uh, or let's say equipment should we say so let's say equipment if you want to uh, about with the uh, equipment camera, equipment, accessory, that'd be good too. Um, uh, anytime somebody uh, support me on Amazon wishlist or donate uh, something to help out, uh, you are very thankful. Um, of course, uh, more video content too. Uh, anytime somebody help me, we, I can do exciting video content so don't forget that and just feel free to share this video with your friends uh, your friends might be interested in a vlog and my score because not every day you might see somebody uh, vlog at school you might see a little every once in a while but not a lot so if somebody is interested in that you can Share it, or if somebody's into uh, my rant video or overview video, that would be good too. If you want to share it, it depends on the people interest. So, um, anytime someone help out, and don't forget, I might set up PayPal account too. If somebody want to help out with my channel, but that could be in the future. But if somebody want to help out, anytime somebody help out my channel, please, please, so do. You, my channel will have exciting comment, uh, uh, content to you guys, hands down. If somebody support my channel, so anytime someone uh, support my uh, dream custom build community, that will help a lot. Because keep in mind, I have a laptop, and sadly, my laptop not the greatest at video production. Uh, and of course, video editing program where I can do nice overlay and other stuff. Anytime somebody help with that, this video, this channel contents would get a little more exciting if somebody help out. So. Uh, anytime something do, I be appreciated. So, like I said before, I will sign off. 
So, uh, catch you on next time, guys. And see you next time. And you will see or hear a voiceover. Don't forget, I'm going to say one more time. Anytime somebody supports the channel, the channel will have exciting uh, content to you people. I guarantee you. So, please, please feel free to pass this video on to somebody else who might be interested in me. So, it means a lot if you do so. So, see you next time, guys. See you later. Alright everybody, so before I end the video, thank you for watching my video, and don't forget to uh, check out the link below the video, and uh, if this video was very helpful, if you want to support my channel, um, feel free to support my channel, um, and uh, I can do a custom build cameo too, so... Uh, I can do that too, so uh, if you like to support my channel any way you like, feel free, so uh, uh, thanks a lot, and see you for the next video.